Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. We just got a couple of awesome new programs here in MLB The Show 24. We're gonna go over it the fastest way to complete the new Architect program though in this video, and then we'll have another one showing you guys the fast way to get through that London program. But let's go ahead and hop into this new uh, this new archetype, pro ar architect program. I keep wanting to say archetype because that was the old road to the show term, but it's architect program like Seth freaking Rollins. You guys, though, first here, do me a favor. Make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you got those notifications on. Also, so you never miss out on videos here that are help you out here in the game, as well as live streams, posts, shorts, all that stuff we've got will be live here tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Central, right here on the channel. You guys make sure to catch me for that. All right, other programs we're going to go into right here. We're going to go over here to the Architects program. Earn uh, Fernando Tatis at the very end. You've also got a Timmy LaCastro card here, man. Timmy Lo, uh, nice speed card for yourself right here for uh, for everybody. I'm going to actually take the camera down so you guys can see the stats on this thing. And we'll actually show you the stats on all these others. A Mike Napoli that you can earn here as well. Definitely not fast, but he's got that power for you. Uh, and then also we got Ronald Acuna Jr. Down here, down here at the very end. He's got the speed. He's got the power. He's got a little bit of contact, a little bit of clutch right now too. So great card. And then we've also got a Fernando Tatis Jr here at the very end he's got speed contact power all of it clutch as well nice clutch rating on that thing uh as well here just don't like these sideways cards man i wish they do away with the sideways cards flip them or something say something there's got to be something to you know whatever anyway all right fastest way to get through this thing though you guys want to know how to do it all right go in first thing first you're going to knock out your moments first that's the always always the first thing we want to do with these you want to knock out your moments all right you've got to get you're going to get three points with this one here uh three points with this one three with this one and three with this and that's going to put you at 12 points already there in the program so not too bad that's a nice little start you've already got tim lacastro uh so you can build him and put him on a squad to go work on and what i would recommend next is to go do these cornerstone stat missions for yourself go knock out these cornerstone stat missions now if you guys don't know this you can actually lock all four of your cornerstone cards into your season one season two collection you can do this in season one as well i'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it and then what you can do is you can build a squad full of them all right so right now i've got a squad a full squad built uh, if you notice right here for the speed captain, right? We're at tier three with them. This is the speed captain and Corbin Carroll here. Uh, but let's say I want to do a different squad. And man, how do I get one of those other cornerstone cards? Well, let's replace him. You got to make sure he's not on any of your squads. Make sure to check in events. Make sure to check in in uh, all of your squads in here, your four squads here. Also in all of your mini seasons, make sure he's not assigned to any of those squads. Once he's removed from all of those, you can actually go down here to your exchanges. It's actually right behind the camera, right where I am here next to collections. Uh, go to your exchanges, then go to exchange players, go to exchange cornerstone captains, and I can actually exchange this Corbin Carroll right here. Uh, and if you see, I've got them all locked in. They're all no sell on all those cards. So then uh, you exchange them and then you can open it. You can do this for all four of them. Uh, and you can use and swap them out at any point, any time that you want. So I'll take Corbin Carroll again just because. Uh, because that's the squad that I had built on there. So we'll go put him out there where I had plugged in somebody else. It was Nick Castellanos. There we go. We'll have to make him the captain again. Don't forget to reassign them as your captain if you're doing that. But that's going to be a great way to get all of those missions knocked out. You can actually work on all of them individually doing it that way. We might do that here on the stream tomorrow. Uh, and if you guys are needing some help with it or not understanding, join me for that live stream and we'll help you out. But we'll be swapping them out and just doing it. Uh, and you can build a squad. Uh, you can always filter your results of your squad by the captain once you've got them assigned. So it'll only show cards that work with that captain. That's going to be the way to do this. So you'll be able to go in and knock this out really fast and knock out all of these. Now, while you're doing that, you'll be working on these uh, these missions as well here, man. You're going to get the points here with these uh, uh, PXP missions as you earn the cards throughout the program. So as you unlock them, plug them into your squad. Just use them wherever you need to uh, and knock those out. So we had 12 points here from the moments. Uh, once we do all of these, you got... Uh, three, six, nine, 12, 15. So that's going to give us 27 total points. Uh, and then once you get these, you've got uh, 32 here because this one gives you five, uh, 32, 35. Uh, and then six is 41 total points is what you're sitting at. So 41 total points, you've got all but one card, all but that Fernando Tatis card there at the very end. Now, while you're building these out, you can do these, and these will actually won't take that long, but stolen bases with Diamondbacks hitters. You can kind of work these into your squads while you're doing it too. Uh, Rangers hitters, you're only going to need to knock out, let's see, you need nine points. So you, you can leave one of these and not have to get one of them, but you're going to have to knock out three of the four. Or you can do this optional moment here for nine extra bonus points and not knock that one out at the end. It's three hits, two extra base hits with the Fernando Tatis card, 
uh, on Hall of Fame difficulty. So give it a try. You never know. You might be able to knock it out. Who knows? Uh, but uh, but definitely worth it, man. The program's great because of all of the XP you can get in it. 30,000 XP to be able to earn to help yourself get towards those Season 2 bosses a little bit faster. Uh, some stubs and some cards here along the way as well. So great cards uh, for early on in Season 2, man. Make sure to get on this. I hope this video helps you guys out. Do me a favor. Smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you have those notifications on as well. And make sure to join us here for the live stream tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Central. Uh, and check out the next video, too. We're going to uh, put you up one uh, showing you how to get through that London series program and get that choice pack for yourself also. But we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks, everybody. Peace.